Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby and welcome. Welcome back guys. So as promised, today's video will be uploaded. Today is currently Sunday, the last day of the week for some people, the beginning of the week for others. For me, it's the beginning of the week because I only work Sunday and Monday throughout the week. So then my starting day is Sunday and then my Friday is Monday. I know that sounds pretty awful, but my husband's okay with me only working two days a week. Um, because I also do my thrifting business on the side, which is great. Um, and I also do YouTube, which I want to start prioritizing my time a little bit better just because I'm not really good at that. And I've been struggling a little bit as far as like keeping a schedule with YouTube. And I know I should be more responsible with that, especially if I want my channel to grow. So should I start a video schedule? Would that be something that you guys are interested in? Or do you guys don't really care about what day of the week I upload as long as I upload at least two videos a week? Let me know in the comments down below because that will definitely help me out on what I decide. Um, but yeah, today was Sunday. So today was very busy for me. I got up at 5 30 ish this morning i had to be at work at 7 so i left my house around like 6 45 to make it to work on time i worked today from 7 to 3 so i had a pretty long shift but it wasn't super long not as long as my husband's shifts um so i'm very grateful um but yeah so today i did work um it is currently like 5 30 right now so i'm gonna try to film this video as fast as i can so i can go ahead and edit it and then have it uploaded for tonight which for sure it will be up tonight so as you guys are seeing this it's sunday i'm filming the same day i'm gonna edit the video and upload it in one day so i'm sorry if it doesn't look that well um or aesthetically pleasing just because I'm trying to do this in a time crunch because I also want to make chicken alfredo for dinner. So I need to get started on that. And then I would also like to watch Criminal Minds before I go to bed. So we'll, we will see how far we get with our haul. I have a bunch of things to show you. Um, but yeah, in today's video, guys, I am going to be filming a um, estate haul as well as a thrifting haul. I've been going to a couple of yard sales, an estate sale, and also some thrift store finds, um, a thrift store. So I've been having a bunch of things that I've been gathering. So I have a bunch of finds that I am really, really excited to share with you guys because I truly love all of these items. And I know that you guys are gonna love them as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have a whole list of things to show you. Um, I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can just because, like I said, I have to film, edit, and upload in one day. That's kind of a lot. Um, and I also need to get dinner started. Um, Steven is doing good. I haven't really updated you guys on him, but he is doing great for anyone who's wondering. Um, he really hasn't been like on my videos as much just because he works so much. Um, and right now he's making the decision on whether or not he's going to re-enlist. Um, and if you guys wanna see like a dedicated video on that, like on his decision, let me know and we'll make one for that. Um, but if not, no worries. Um, but right now he is resting. He got his haircut because you know they have to get a haircut every single week. So he got his haircut earlier and he's currently playing video games with his friends. So that's great. I'm happy for him. Um, and I know he wants chicken alfredo for dinner. So we're going to try to get it done for today. And I really am craving pasta too. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm doing a lot of motions with my hands, but I can't help it. It's just sometimes like, it's just the way that it is. But I really miss you guys and I'm so thankful to have you here on my channel as well as thank you so much for all the love and comments on my last video. You guys are awesome. I love hearing all your opinions on what you like. If you thought I should do something else or if you just like watching my videos, I really do appreciate it. And I am just so happy that you guys are here. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to comment down below and introduce yourself because that is a way for me to get to know you. And I always wonder like, oh, if they didn't comment this time, like I wonder about where you guys are or what you guys are doing as far as like your safety and stuff. I just care about you guys so much. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off 
in random areas because I don't really have like a theme that I'm going with and I'm not going to be going in order of estate, thrift, store, or yard sale. I'm kind of just showing you what's already laid out um, just because that's easier for me. So stay on track with me. If you want to grab a snack or something to drink to get this haul started, go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and get started with this haul. Alrighty guys, so I actually have been collecting a couple of books now. I wanna get back into reading, so I'm slowly making the transition of gathering books because I want to do a monthly reads, um, I guess, evaluation or test. I don't really know how to name it, but basically I wanna see how many books I can read in a month. And then also, if you guys are interested in that, I will definitely like give you guys my opinion on the books that I read. I used to read a long time ago, but I haven't done it in a long time and I've been missing it. So I figured I would go ahead and start gathering books for when I have some downtime, which feels like I never have downtime, but I am gonna like take some time away from my thrifting page to really just dedicate my time here on YouTube because this is really my passion. Like I love thrifting, but YouTube is my passion. Um, so. I wanna take some time away from that to add to here. And I feel like that's an even balance for me. Um, but anyways, I have thrifted a couple of books, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, the first book that I did thrift was this Viola Davis Finding Me book. She is one of my favorite actresses. I love her. I love all of the movies that she's in. And I just really love her spirit as well as the way she portrays her characters. I just. I just love her, honestly. So that's really all I have to say. So I figured I would go ahead and give this book a try because it is on Oprah's book club list. So why not go ahead and give this a try? I did get this for only $1, which I thought was a great deal. If you're ever looking for books, check out your local thrift store because you can get them as cheap as a dollar. Or at the other thrift store that I go to, I get them as cheap as 10 cents, which is amazing. Um, but this book is in perfect condition and I cannot wait to dive into this. If you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on this, let me know in the comments down below and I will update you on whether or not I liked it. Um, but yeah, I got this book. The next book that I did go ahead and get was this Jane Austen Sense and Sensibility book. I loved it. It's a classic romance. I am a collector of Jane Austen books. I think I already have this book, but I don't have this style. And as you guys know, a lot of um, books have different styles. Like I'm gonna start collecting the Lord of the Rings um, style books. I don't know, yeah. I'm gonna start collecting those books in different styles because I follow someone who does and her house is just so beautiful. So I wanna start collecting books that I truly love and authors um, that I love. Um, and I am just really, really excited to start collecting books. So this is the one that I got. It's a beautiful cover. I think it's so gorgeous. It is paperback in pretty good condition. Um, this is what the back looks like. I did pay $2.29 from this for this book. And I got this book at Goodwill. Which, if you're looking for books, check out your smaller thrift stores before you go to Goodwill because Goodwill can sometimes be pricey, even though $2 is not pricey for a book. Um, but check out your local thrift stores because more than likely you're going to find it for way cheaper. So, But I'm really happy that I got this one. The next book that I did go ahead and get is actually a coffee table book. I am in love with coffee table books because you can style them in so many ways. You can use them on your coffee table, on your TV stand, um, on a coffee bar. You can style books in so many different ways. So anytime I can find a book that I truly love, I like to pick it up just because I like to switch out my decor. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a big Diana fan, Princess Diana fan. So I um, actually found this book I think I found it at an estate sale um, and it was $1.50. It's a perfect condition book. Like this is a beautiful coffee table book. Um, and I just love Princess Diana. I think her story is very intriguing, but also very sad. Um, and I also followed the Harry and Meghan um, documentary that they had put out. So I'm like really intrigued with their story. Um, so I did go ahead and grab this book. 
Um, I thought it was a great book to add to my coffee table books. And I'm just really happy I got this for $1.50. Like this is a great deal. It did have a cover on here, like a plastic cover, I mean a paper cover, but I did end up taking it off because I do want it to be very simple and sleek. And I just like how this looks with the gold writing. I think that's beautiful and perfect for my style. So really happy that I grabbed this book. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a set of baskets that I just got today. Um, I got this from um, someone that I follow on social media. Sometimes she sells things that she stages with. So she sold this um, basket set for $5. So it's three different baskets. And I got them because I thought they would be so cute somewhere in my house or not even in my house. Honestly, the reason I got them was because I thought they was, we, would be great for like party um party trays so like for fourth of july for instance i can put like some parchment paper down on here and then also put like some chips i think that would be a great deal or a great idea um but i am gonna go ahead and soak these and wash them so don't worry i would not just put food on here um or also you can actually put like a big platter in the middle of it like i thought that would be so cute for like you know outdoor outdoor parties or even this would be cute for wall decor, um, which I was thinking about using it for wall decor, like as a basket set. The only thing is, is that I thought the color of the baskets was different. I didn't realize that they were gray. And although I love gray, I'm moving my color scheme into more of like browns, greens, blues, um, copper, and neutral colors. So I'm trying to like wean away from the gray, if that makes sense. Um, so I figured I would use these for probably like entertaining purposes. I don't know, I thought that would be a great idea. Um, or not only that, but it could also be like a little catch-all basket for like a coffee table. So I'd probably use one of these for my coffee table um, sometime around the year. Like this would be perfect for Easter. I would not use this all year round just because of the color. But for Easter, I would definitely use this or for 4th of July. So I did want to go ahead and get it because she was selling the set for only $5 for three baskets. And I thought that was a really good deal. So I did go ahead and grab these. Okay, guys. So I am a collector of brass. I've been collectively collecting it. And I am really excited for all the different things that I've been collecting. Um, as you guys know, a couple videos back, I had showed you guys a Halloween uh, witches boot that I got. I think I paid like 40 or 45, $48, somewhere within that range. Um, and I really love that boot. Anyways, my friend had posted something on Instagram and I had saw it. And she said that there was a boot similar to that one at the Foothills Goodwill, which is around 25, 30 minutes away from me. Um, and she had posted it last night. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I need this because it will go with my other boot that I have and it would be perfect for Halloween. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need this. The only thing is, is that today on Sunday, which I found out yesterday that the Goodwill had it, Today I had to work seven to three. So there's that chance that someone could have taken it. Um, and I was so worried about it, but I did go to work because I'm not gonna call out of work just to get a boot. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, if I was like younger, I probably would, but now that I'm like maturing, I know that's not right. Um, so yeah, I went to work and uh, of course it was on my mind. I was just hoping that when I get off of work, I'll have some time to go, which I knew that I wouldn't really because I wanted to film this video. I needed to get dinner started and I also wanted to watch Criminal Minds. So I was like timing it all out in my head and I knew it was gonna be like a hard situation. So when my husband woke up, I was like, can you please, please, please go to the Goodwill in the Foothills even though it's his day off and I feel so bad. I was like, can you please, like this is the boot that I need. It's only, I think it was like only $4.49, um, which is a great deal because it's brass. Um, and Steven's like, yeah. He's like, but you owe me big time. And I'm like, yes, I will. I was like, please just go. So Steven went right away. He got up and got in the car and he went right away. And the whole time I, I didn't think that he was gonna go, but he was like, I'm already here. And then he was like, I found it. And I was like, awesome. And then what makes it better is that today was Sunday. So today they 
do take a military discount. So Steven was able to get a discount. And I think he only paid like $3 and something on this little boot. Like, look how gorgeous this is. I am stunned. Like, I'm shook. I cannot believe that I got it. It's all thanks to my friend Allison and also to my husband. Like, they are the real MVPs. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This boot is so gorgeous. It's different from the other one I have, which is great. And it's smaller, so it works great. But that's the side of it. This is the front. And then here is the other side. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm so happy. It also does have like this little hole right here, which I thought was perfect for Halloween because I could like stuff it with stuff. Um, some greenery or something I don't know but I think this is gorgeous and I am so happy that I was able to get this like look at this perfect 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 um but yeah and for only like three something like this was so worth it I'm so happy guys when I came home I was just so happy like you guys do not understand I am just so in love with this so thank you to my husband and thank you to Allison for grabbing this for me um, and also for her telling me. So yeah, I am super in love with this little witch's boot. The next thing that I did get was another brass item. I got it from a local reseller. I got this beautiful brass bunny, which is so adorable. I have been on the hunt for animal figures, especially for Easter. Like I would love a bunny one. I got this one for $15, which I thought was a good deal because brass items are very expensive, especially if like they're animals, they go for so much more. Um, but this one is so adorable. I love it. Um, I didn't get it in time for Easter, but that's okay. I'm going to save it for next year. It's just a beautiful piece and I truly love it. It's so gorgeous. I am on the hunt for another brass bunny, but the one that I'm looking for is the one that's laying down on books. And that one is so, so hard to find. Okay. So moving on to frames. Sorry, I had a cough. <sighs> So moving on to frames, I have been collecting some gradually because I use frames all the time in my decorating and sometimes I find pieces of art that don't have frames. So anytime I can get some frames for cheap, I grab them because I'm always looking for frames when it comes to adding it to pieces of art and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. But at Goodwill, I found this beautiful frame. It was like $3. I saw it and I was debating on getting it and then I put it down because I was like, you know what? I really don't need it. But I was like, this is a perfect size frame. Like what if one day I want to print um, something from Walmart and I need a frame like this size, like this would be perfect. And gold frames are so expensive to find. Um, and they're always just expensive. Like no matter what, um, no matter if you get them online or if you get it from a reseller, most of the time they're always expensive. Um, and I really love this one, so I did go ahead and grab this one. It's super big. It does have the stand in the back. It doesn't have hanging hardware, but it does have like this little lift right here where you can still hang it on something, which I thought was great. So I did go ahead and grab this one for $3. Okay, so I grabbed some more frames. I grabbed these two frames, which were 10 cents each. They're just some basic gold frames, but basic gold frames are beautiful in home decor. You can use them for so many things. So anytime I can find them cheap, I grab them and I just love them. So these were both 10 cents. The next frame that I found was at a yard sale, a big one that I went to this weekend or last weekend. Um, I got this one for a dollar. I love this type of frame. This is actually one of my favorite frames because I love how it has like this little piece at the top. I have another one just like it and I have it hanging in my home, which I will be update, updating you guys on how my home is looking very soon. If you follow me on my social media, like my Instagram, you probably already know how my house looks because I update all the time. But if you're not following me, stay tuned because I will update you guys very, very soon. Um, but I just love this frame and I got it for a dollar. The next two frames that I did go ahead and grab were two frames that cost 50 cents each. I love this frame. I love the detail on it. It's so beautiful. It does not have the back, but that's okay because honestly, I could, I could just cut a piece of cardboard and put it back here. Um, but I love this one. One day I'll find a print to put in here, but I just, th I just thought this was so beautiful so I could not pass this up. And this one was 50 cents. And then the next frame that I got was 50 cents as well. 
and this one is gorgeous as well it does not have the backing but that's okay i can replace it i just really love how this one looks it does have some wear right here but that's okay because i think it gives it character to me um but yeah this one was 50 cents as well so this is one of the reasons why i thrift frames all the time because sometimes i get prints made and I'm looking for a frame for it. For instance, I actually got a couple prints made, like this one. This is a print that I got from Etsy. If you guys are interested in the link, I will leave it down below if you guys wanna check it out. I believe the print was like $5, um, but that's a great deal if you wanna print it out. A Walmart, I think 11 by 14 is probably like $7, and that is an amazing deal. Um, so I got this print. And then I thrifted this frame, this gold frame. I think I thrifted it for like 50 cents, but it just goes together so well. I haven't found a place in my home yet to put it, but I'm gonna be on the lookout for a space for it and I will definitely be hanging it up very soon and you guys will see that. Another frame that I did go ahead and grab was this wooden one from Goodwill. I just love how this looks. It gives it that old antique look um without it being too old and i just love it i got this one from goodwill and it was only 99 cents so like i said i did go to a yard sale and i got a couple things from that yard sale one of the things that i did get was this beautiful beautiful painting um in this gold frame like this is such a go gorgeous painting it has a little house and some boats on a lake and I thought it was just so, so gorgeous. I'm sorry if you guys can't see that well because of my ring light, um, but it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous painting. I love it so much. I feel like it has a lot of character and it matches my home so well because of the colors. Um, this is like the perfect color scheme for my home. Um, it does have a wire in the back for hanging. Um, if I can try to get a better picture for you guys, I will put it here for you guys. But this is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I think I got this for like $3 at that yard sale, which is an amazing deal because this alone would be so much at Goodwill. And I just love this. I think this is beautiful and I could not have passed this up at all. At that same yard sale, I got another painting, I believe by the same artist because the guy said it was. The only thing is that he didn't have a frame for it, but I still picked it up because I did love it. Like this is so beautiful. The little houses, the man on the a horse with the carriage and the boats, like that is such a beautiful scene. And I just am so in love with it. And I think I got this one for like $2 or a dollar. Um, which is an amazing deal because I can always try to find a frame for it. And yeah, I just thought this was so cute. Let me know if you guys like it. I think it's so beautiful. I feel like it's gonna fit my house so well. Next item that I did go ahead and get was this beautiful little market sign. I thought this would be great for like spring as well as Easter. Um, I'll probably put it up for summer because I feel like it would tie in so well, but then I'll, t I'll take it down for like fall and Christmas. Um, this actually is a Hobby Lobby sign that's originally $14.99. I got it from Goodwill for only $4.99, but I got it for less than that because I got 20% off of this. Um, but yeah, I really love this and I feel like it's going to go well with my spring and summer decor. The next item that I did go ahead and get was this beautiful checkered pitcher. I got it from the estate sale. Um, this is by the brand um, Eddie Bauer, I believe. It's made in Italy. And it has this stamp and it's just a beautiful checkered vase or pitcher. And I thought this would be so perfect for summer because I am going to be doing a strawberry theme. And I think this is gonna look so cute with some fresh flowers in my kitchen. Um, and it was priced out $4, but the day that I got it, it was half off. So I only paid $2 for this picture. And this is so beautiful, beautiful. And the fact that it was made in Italy makes it even more precious to me. Another find from the yard sale was this beautiful dish. I think I paid $2 for it. It is a vintage little ceramic dish. It's made in Germany. It has a little stamp at the bottom, made in Germany. And look at this gorgeous little ceramic dish. It's like a trinket dish. Um, and I thought this would be so perfect for 
um, my little scrubby brush for my kitchen. I've been looking for something like that and I think this is gonna tie in so well. And I think I only paid like two or one, one or two dollars for it. But this is a great piece and I'm so happy I got it. Next thing that I did go ahead and get was from the estate sale. I got a set of six plates. They look like this. Um, there's five little ones and one big one and they are gorgeous. They are actually made in England. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of them real quick. So they're all the same, but this is what the plates look like. These are perfect if I have like a little tea party or like a little bit of guest over. We can have like snacks with these. I just love these and I want to romanticize my life. I don't want to just keep on using my Walmart dishware. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And my dishware is still good condition. Like I'm not gonna get rid of it if I don't need to. But if I can gradually pick up little plates that are gonna make my home very like beautiful and also make me very happy, I'm gonna do it. Um, and I got the set of six for only $2, which is a great deal but it looks so gorgeous. It has this greenery, it has like a little vintage basket on it and they were made in England and they're by Spode. So $2 for the set of six. Okay guys, if you've been following me for a long time, you guys know that a long time ago that I thrifted these um, and if you follow me on my Instagram, you know that I've been trying to sell the set that I have because I only had a set of two. And don't get me wrong, they're very beautiful, but I didn't want to just have a set of two. I want to have a set of four or five. So for that reason, I tried to sell it and it didn't work out and they didn't sell, which I don't know why, because they're vintage and they're so beautiful. I guess they're just not people's style, which is fine. Um, but you know what? It was meant to be that I didn't sell because when I went to this estate sale, I saw a basket of glasses and I was like, hey, I actually have these. So I found a set of four, I believe. I don't know what the other one is, but I found a set of four and I know that they're gonna work so perfect for the ones I already have. Um, one of the cups that I already have did break. So I think I'm only gonna have four or five left, but now it's a complete set and I love it. And I'm not gonna get rid of it because they are by the brand House. Um, and they are just so cute. They're like little vintage Christmas glasses. And I know they're gonna work so well in my house and now I'm gonna keep them. So I got this set of glasses for $4 and I also got some extra ones as well. I'm not gonna show them here because I don't plan to keep them. I'm gonna donate them back to the little thrift store that I go to, um, but I am gonna keep these. The next thing that I did get was from the estate sale. I got this beautiful copper mold, I believe. I don't really know exactly what this is. If you have an idea, please let me know. But I believe it's a mold. They had it priced for $4, but I did go ahead and get it for two because they had half off on this day. So I love this because I've been collecting copper and this is gonna go on my wall with my copper collection. Next item that I did go ahead and grab was a beautiful basket from Goodwill. I love baskets. Everyone who knows me personally knows that I love baskets. They're sometimes really hard to say no to them because I just love them so much. I feel like there's so much purpose with them. Like you can do so many things with them. Anyways, I got this one from Goodwill. It was $3.49, but I paid a little bit less because I got 20% off of this purchase. Um, but look at this beautiful basket. The reason I've been on the hunt for a basket is because I want to romanticize my life, like I said. And one thing I have always wanted is a beautiful basket that I can pick up laundry laying around the house. I know that sounds so weird and kind of like fairy tale, but I have always imagined having a beautiful basket to pick up random pieces of laundry around my house. Um, and I just figured why not go ahead and do that if that's something that I want to do because, you know, there's no sense in living life wanting to do something, never doing it. So I just went ahead and got it. I showed my husband the basket and he was like, you have to grab it because it's really beautiful. So I did go ahead and grab it. I think it's a perfect size just to pick up random shirts that my husband leaves around or random things that I leave around. Like it's just perfect. And I think this is a great way to help me stay on top of my laundry. So I'm really happy that I got this basket because like I said, it's a really good size and 
I just want to romanticize my life and live my life the way that I want to. And if making a, um, if, and if getting a basket to pick up my laundry is gonna make me happy, then I'm gonna do it. <laughs> thing that I did go ahead and get from a small thrift store was this beautiful decorative piece. It was made in China, but it's this cute little white dish. It has hearts on it. I thought it would be so cute to display during Valentine's Day. Um, if I decorate for Valentine's Day again, I don't really know. Or even just to display around my house. I thought this would be so adorable. So I did go ahead and grab this and I believe this was a dollar. So I was so in love with my vintage Christmas that I um, did last year, and I'm gonna continue to do that this year. So I have been thrifting a couple Christmas items. Also, if you guys wanna see a dedicated a dedicated Christmas haul, let me know. Um, I can do one in July for Christmas in July. I have been uh, thrifting Christmas items like crazy, and I'm really excited to show you. Um, but I did wanna go ahead and show you these because they're not too Christmassy, and I feel like these are really nice. Um, so at the little thrift store that I go to, I found this brass trumpet. I had one last year and I sold it and I regretted it so much. So I was like, you know what? I found one, I'm not gonna sell it again. Um, I found this one for $3 and this day when I went, they had a Christmas half off. So I only got it for $1.50, which is a great deal because brass items are very expensive and especially like high-end things that people are looking for and trumpets are something that people are always looking for. So I got this for only $1.50. Now I went to Goodwill a couple weeks back and I found another trumpet, but this one is way smaller as you guys can probably tell like it's really really small i got this one at goodwill for $2.49 so it was way more but that's kind of reasonable for goodwill's prices especially when it comes to like brass and things like that they always price it really high um so yeah i did go ahead and pick this up because i thought this was so cute and this one was made in india Okay guys, I got another basket. I got this from a local thrift store. I got it for $2. It's so cute. It has like a little stand at the bottom. So it's not like a, just like a regular basket. It's a basket that, that can actually stand. It's so cute. I thought, I thought this would be a so adorable to store items in. Or my friend even said this would be cute to display like plates inside of here. So that would be so adorable as well. I think I paid $2 for this as well. Okay, so I have a couple more Christmas items I wanna show you. I know it's so early, but you guys are gonna enjoy this, I know. Um, I found these beautiful vintage tags and cards. Um, originally, they had them priced for 79 cents at the time that they were selling them. But at the little thrift store I go to, they had them priced at 50 cents. So I got them for only 25 cents because they were half off. And I just love these. They're so adorable and they're vintage, which makes it even more personal to me. So really happy I got that. I also got this ribbon of carols. They had it priced for a dollar and I got it for 50 cents. The reason I got this is because I do not plan to display it like this. I did open it up and I found that they have the little carols on this velvet piece of paper, which I thought was really adorable. And I could actually frame these for Christmas or put them somewhere like in a basket. Um, so I did go ahead and grab this and this was 50 cents. The next Christmas item that I did go ahead and grab was from a antique shop downtown. I did pay $8.50 plus tax for this. It's actually something I've been on the hunt for. It's the little clips that you put on your Christmas tree to put candles in so that your tree can light up at night. And I saw someone do this last year and I got so inspired. I can't remember who it was. Um, I saw it like on Pinterest. So I wanted to grab them this year for my vintage Christmas. Um, so I did go ahead and grab them. They are a blue color, but I am going to spray paint them gold or paint them gold. And I thought these would be so cute for my vintage Christmas because they are gonna be on my Christmas tree with little candles. Okay, so the last Christmas thing I have to show you is this holiday tin plate set that I got from the estate sale. I did pay $10 for these. I could have bargained with them, but I chose not to because I just feel like these hold a lot of memories and I am really happy to have been able to get them from the family that 
you know, had them once. Um, I don't know who they are, but I can only imagine that a lot of memories are filled in this box of tins. So I was, I was kind of iffy about it when I left. I was like, man, I should have bargained. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I shouldn't have because I really appreciate, you know, that I got it half off already and that this was someone's memories and they're gonna be passed on to me. So I really love that. Um, this is what the tin looks like. It's a box or like a little tin um, container. It says holiday tin plates on it. Like, look how gorgeous this is. It comes with eight plates. So they have four styles and I'll go ahead and show you the styles. Um, right now, I saw this and I thought these were so beautiful to have hung in my kitchen during Christmas time. Like, just looking at it makes me so happy for Christmas. I'm like so in love. Um, and here are the styles. So like I said, there's four styles and there's two of each. So here's the Christmas tree. It's gorgeous. It has the little stockings. I mean the little ornaments on it it has like the random little things and the star at the top and i just love this i think it's gorgeous i think it's going to be perfect for christmas and like i said it's someone's memories passed down to me and i'm just really happy that i was able to snag this so that's one of them here's the second one they are just all so gorgeous i cannot believe i got them so so beautiful and really really happy here is the third one and then here's the last one santa with his reindeer like you guys you guys cannot tell me this is so beautiful this is gorgeous i'm still in shock that i grabbed these because they're just so beautiful and like i said i cannot wait for christmas to be here i'm so happy Next item that I did go ahead and grab was from the estate sale. I got it for $1.50. It's this huge copper piece. It has like this little hanging piece at the top. Um, I'm not really sure what it is. I can only imagine that it's a strainer because it has the holes. Um, if you have any idea of what this is, please let me know. I just collect copter, copper. So this was only $1.50 and I really liked how it looked. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. But if you know exactly what this is, please let me know in the comments down below. Another great find that I did get from Goodwill um, on Saturday was this gorgeous, gorgeous tray. This is actually really big in the vintage community or as well in the thrifting community, like especially online, a lot of people sell these trays. Um, this is the tray that I actually got yesterday. Um, it is a beautiful gold ornate tray. It's gorgeous. It has that mirror at the bottom. Um, this is especially used for perfume, jewelry. Um, it's just supposed to give off that romantic feel in a room. And I really love it. I only got it for $3.49, but I got it for less than that because I got the 20% off. Um, it does have the velvet bottom. So it's very soft. And I am just so in love with this tray. It's gorgeous. It's gonna go in my bedroom and it's gonna display the things that I have. So I'm really happy that I was able to snag this and for less than $3, that's a great deal. Or for around $3, that's a great deal. Another thing that I did go ahead and grab from the estate sale was this really cool um, sign. It's on a wooden, it's a wooden sign and it says, Grand Cake Baking Contest. And it looks like this. I got it for $6. It does have the hooks at the bottom, which could be used for measuring cups or for anything really. But look at this beautiful sign. I love this. It does have the hanging hardware in the back. And like I said, I got it for $6. I love this because I don't know if you guys um, have ever watched Little House on the Prairie. I was raised on that. My dad and my mom always played that for us. But in one of the episodes, I remember that they had a baking contest and I could just remember that um, <sighs> Laura's mom, what's her name? I can't remember. I haven't watched it in forever. I need to rewatch it again. Um, I used to watch it all the time, like during the day when Steven would be at work. But since I've been like super busy, I haven't been able to watch it. Um, 
I remember they had an episode where the mothers did like a baking contest, contest and I remember Laura's mom won, I believe, because she bakes really well. Um, and it just reminded me of that and it just made my heart very happy. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I don't have a space in my kitchen for it yet, but I'm going to find a space for it. And if not, I will save it for when I do have a space for it because I just love pieces like this. And I think this is very sentimental to me. So I am going to keep it and I'm going to hopefully try to find a space for it. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep looking for a space for it and then just hold on to it until I do. But I am just so in love with this. I think it's really cute. I know my style is changing. I'm bringing in like a lot of country stuff and a lot of different things, but I'm really happy with it. I am bringing in things that I truly love and it's just made me so happy. So really excited to have this sign. Another thing that I did go ahead and get from the yard sale was this gorgeous vintage um, lantern. It's so cute. It does still have the wick inside, um, but look, it has like these little flying ducks on it. It is so gorgeous. I got this for $5. Um, I wasn't planning to sell it, but someone did ask me if I would sell it. I gave them a price and never responded, but that's okay because honestly, I don't wanna sell it. It's really beautiful and I feel like it'll make a perfect addition to my house. So this was really cute. And like I said, I got it for $5. So one of the next things that I did go ahead and get was this gorgeous primitive inspired jug. I don't know if it's actual vintage. Um, I couldn't tell because it doesn't really have markings at the bottom. Um, if you're familiar with this, please let me know. Um, but I saw it and I had to have it. Now, I don't have a hutch. I don't have a space for it. But I am going to be collecting stuff that I hope to have room for in the future. So I'm hoping that one day I'll have a beautiful hutch to display all these items. So until then, if I find a great deal, I'm going to grab it because why not? Um, also, a little surprise, I do have this small hutch that I did purchase from a small business. I haven't received it yet. I was supposed to pick it up this last weekend, but she went out of town, so I wasn't able to grab it from her. But from what I understand, we're probably gonna push it to this weekend. It's basically like this small shelf that you can put on top of an item to look like a hutch. I did purchase that from her. Um, and I'm really excited because I wanna see if I can display some stuff. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on my coffee bar or what. I need to redo it because it's pink. It's not the color that I would want it. So it's gonna be a little bit of a DIY process, but we'll see how it works out and hopefully it does work out. Um, but I will update you guys on that as well. So that is coming to my home as well. But I really love this piece and I cannot say no to it for $4, great deal. They had it priced at $8, but this day I got it for half off. It's this beautiful piece. I think it's gorgeous and it has some wear on it. It has a little bit of um, crazing on it as well as a little bit of cracks right here. Um, but I just think that makes it so much more beautiful. Um, this would also be perfect outside of my front door, like with some florals inside. I think this would be so gorgeous for that. Until I have a hutch or somewhere to display it, I'm gonna definitely be, gonna be displaying it outside, I think, or somewhere in my living room. I haven't really decided, but if you have any ideas for this, let me know because I am really excited to go ahead and put this to use. Okay guys, so these are the last two items that I wanted to show you. They're just too big to lift up and show you while I was sitting. So I figured I would show you this way. The first thing I wanted to show you was this beautiful wicker trunk that I got at the estate sale. I got it for $1. It's a beautiful, beautiful wicker trunk. It does have um, the hardware on it and it does lock like that. Um, I don't know if it's like missing an actual lock piece, but it still works and I think it's gorgeous. Um, it does have like the little handle up here and it's just a beautiful piece. Let me try to show you. I have some things in it right now, but look how gorgeous that is for a dollar. A great deal. My best find of this haul was this antique butter turner. I saw it the first time that I went to the estate sale. I didn't grab it because as you guys can tell, 
they had it priced for $60. Now $60 for this butter turner is a great deal. It really is. But I'm on a budget and I couldn't afford it. I'm just being honest with you guys. I could not afford that. So I went back and I was like, what are the chances that it'll be there? It's probably not going to be there. And I was like, oh, well, it didn't work out. But I was checking out and I was telling him that I was looking for something really antique. And I saw this pot that was similar to this, but it wasn't antique. He was like, if you really want an antique, he was like, get this butter turner. And I was like, what? It's still here? He was like, yeah. He was like, I marked it down to 30 and today's half off. So if you get it, it's only $15. And it is a two gallon butter turner. It still has the lid and the stick. This is how much it has been used. He was showing me how like they used it and stuff. And I just thought this was such a gorgeous piece. Like for me to only pay $15, for this butter turner is a great deal. Um, I am so, so happy. I was really thankful that they sold it to me for only $15 and I love it. Like I'm still shook that I have it and it's in my possession because it's just too beautiful. Um, but those are my other two great finds. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you think I got a great deal on this butter turner. I don't know how I'll display it, but you know what? I couldn't pass on it and I thought it was so beautiful. And like I said, I'll have a big home one day. Not a big home, but I'll have a bigger home one day where I'll be able to display it better. But for now, I just have it displayed in my living room. But I am really happy with these. Okay guys, that is the end of my haul. I'm really happy with everything that I've gathered. If you like any of these items, please let me know down below. And also if you have any ideas for what I should do with them, let me know in the comments down below. I was really happy that I was able to film this video for you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I'm hoping that it's up by the time you get into bed so you can watch it before you go to bed. Um, but thank you guys so much for sticking around with me and just being here. I truly appreciate it. And yeah, stay tuned because I have some exciting things to show you of my home um, and some things that have changed. I'm going to be showing you that in this coming week, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I will see you guys next time, and I love you guys so much, and yeah, bye!